Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick comparison here and specs on the Galaxy S5 versus the Galaxy S5 Mini. And the Galaxy S5 Mini became official today. I did a video talking about its specs. It's basically a baby Galaxy S5, as you can hear on the name. The interesting thing is that it's water resistant and dust resistant, but you can see it has an opening at the bottom, no flap, which I'm really not sure how, how that's going to work out, but that sounds pretty cool. Uh, that sounds pretty pretty cool if they have uh, solved that so you don't have to have that. I don't know. But, we have of course the big boy Galaxy S5, which came out a few months back. You can see also the S5 Mini also web in all of these colors. Uh, but you can see that flap. It's annoying. Mine is already broken off. Okay, so to start off here, both are LTE capable devices, 4G smartphones. Um, you, I, I, I suppose, you, yeah, micro sim on both, or sim, mini sim on both probably. Uh, you have, as you see, a little bit of a difference in, in time frame when they coming out here. Uh, we saw the S5 on the market in April, and I guess, yeah, was it in April I got it? I think it was April, May, June, around three months between them, or something like that. Uh, fingerprint sensor on both. Uh, IP67 certification on both and the Super AMOLED display also on both should be the same. Uh, first difference here 720p display on the S5 Mini versus a full HD display here, 1080p resolution uh, on the S5. Uh, 4.5 inches the S5 Mini versus 5.1 inches on the full size S5. So a little bit smaller display, but still not super small phone, still pretty nice size. Uh, if we move on here, 16GB variant, the S5 Mini, 1.5GB RAM versus 2GB RAM and also 32GB variant that's available on the S5, but I think the majority of people is using the 16GB variant. <coughs> Both have Gorilla Glass 3 as well, 8MP camera on the S5 Mini and 60MP uh, on the full size S5. Uh, what else do we have here that's interesting? Uh, quad core, yes, this is pretty interesting on the S5 Mini. I thought it was going to have quad core. 1.2 GHz, but it actually has 1.4 GHz, and I think it's a Quartz A7, uh, which is not something that uh, I, I don't like that one that much. Uh, but maybe with this 1.4 GHz, which is a little bit more powerful, uh, we can cram out some nice juice out of it. I don't, we don't know at the moment the GPU or the chipset, but I, I think that uh, it's running on Snapdragon 400, the S5 Mini, uh, and uh, they're doing a 330 GPU probably, or Adreno 320, I think it's running on Adreno 330 though. Uh, Adreno 330 GPU on the uh, S5 and quad core 2.5 GHz, Create 400 and Snapdragon 801, which is the latest chips at the moment. We're expecting to see uh, Snapdragon 805 coming in the future upcoming months. Uh, also, there's a difference in, in battery life 2100 mAh versus 2800 on the S5. Uh, so, um, I kind of enjoy the, the specs on the S5 Mini. Uh, definitely a big standpoint is probably going to be that it's going to be dust and water resistant from what we have seen officially from Samsung. And I really enjoy it as well with a ton of different colors. And it's probably going to be a very, very cool device with the fingerprint sensor and fingerprint reader and all that. Uh, hopefully it will have around the same price tag as it had last year. Then it's going to be a very, very attractive phone. Uh, so um, yeah, can't wait to see this one. This should come out in mid-July, so we're definitely sticking for that. Peace out. Or something mid-July. At least in July.